Masks off and on the move. It is great to be back here in Melbourne. Victoria was chosen as the stage for the Prime Minister's green turn. Taking action on climate change is extremely important for the health of our planet. He's offering new funding, an extra $500 million for the Clean Energy Finance Corporation to invest in emerging green technology. But there's a catch. The money will only flow if Parliament agrees to allow the CEFC to invest in carbon capture and storage, something the Coalition has previously tried and failed to do. It builds on the CEFC's success as the world's largest government-owned green bank. The Coalition and the CEFC have a long history. It tried to abolish it, then defund it without success. Now they support it, but still want to change the rules to include carbon capture and storage. It's a controversial ask because it's yet to work at a large scale, despite years of trials. Carbon capture and storage is a total scam and the public should not be paying for it. The CEFC currently invests in a wide range of clean technologies, everything from recycling to energy efficiency in buildings to discounting loans for households to buy batteries. Labor and the Greens want the CEFC to keep its focus there. These people are hypocrites. Uh, they are inconsistent. They're not fair income. But the coalition will try again before the next election to test if Labor will stand in the way of $500 million for the climate. Well, we'll wait and see what legislation they have. We call on Labor to join us. Don't fall for this scam from Scott Morrison. It's new money, but an old battle. Scott Morrison may have secured some sort of deal with the Nationals on climate policy, but there's no bipartisan consensus, not even a ceasefire. Climate change is still being used as a means to score political points. With an election expected between March and May, the Prime Minister isn't the only one cooking up campaign lines. Does anyone really think they're going to get better in their second decade in government. An entree to the real election campaign. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.